हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन कोर्स ऑफ मैकेनिकल मेजरमेंट एंड मेट्रोलॉजी माई सेल्फ अभिषेक त्रिवेदी फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिपार्टमेंट एट एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी वी आर डिस्कसिंग फोर्स टॉर्क प्रेशर स्ट्रेन एंड टेम्परेचर मेजरमेंट एंड इट्स मेजरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंट एज वेल एज द टेक्निक्स बिहाइंड द मेजरमेंट्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव स्टार्टेड द न्यू टॉपिक प्रेशर मेजरमेंट इन विच वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द प्रेशर और वी कैन सी द आइडिया बिहाइंड द प्रेशर हाउ द प्रेशर इज एप्लीकेबल हाउ द प्रेशर इज मेजर्ड वॉट आर द बेसिक बेसिक इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स फॉर द मेजरमेंट ऑफ द प्रेशर देन वी हैव डिस्कस द बेसिक कैरेक्टरिस्टिक्स ऑफ द प्रेशर वंस वी आर राइजिंग इन द हाइट वंस वी आर डिपिंग इन साइड द लिक्विड देन वी हैव डिस्कस द प्रेशर इज नॉट अफेक्टेड बाय द शेप और द कन्फाइनिंग बाउंड्रीज और द बाउंड्री कंडीशन ऑफ द गिवन स्ट्रक्चर्स then we have discussed the different different unit system for the measurement of the pressure uh, as per the application of the uh, as per the application of the pressure we have defined the different different unit system then we have classified the pressure in the different different uh, we, then we have discussed the different different types of pressure we have started with the absolute zero line then we have defined the basic atmospheric pressure which is acted due to the atmospheric condition over the human kind it is another atmospheric pressure then whatever the pressure is available which is above the atmospheric pressure and which is measured by the gauge then it is known as a gauge pressure we have discussed then we have discussed the vacuum pressure vacuum pressure is also known as a negative pressure which is below the atmospheric pressure also known as a vacuum pressure then we have no uh, discuss the absolute pressure and at the end of the types of pressure we have discussed the total pressure so we have discussed the different different types of the pressures then we have discussed um, then we have started with the very basic instruments for the measurement of the pressure the first one piezometer piezometer is useful for measurement of the pipe pressure which is which can measure the pressure which range from low pressure to medium pressure range in the piezometer we are using the equation p is equal to rho g h where h that is the height or we can say the head available uh, of the given fluid which raises the atmospheric pressure and rise inside the capillary tube or we can say piezometer tube then we have discussed the youtube manometer in the youtube manometer we have already told that the youtube manometer is uh, useful for the measurement of the pressure difference between the given two pipe we have defined the basic equation for the measurement of the youtube manometer then i have told you that youtube manometer is further classified in the different different categories like uh, simple youtube manometer differential youtube manometer upright youtube manometer and downright youtube manometers but those all categories are not in our syllabus in our syllabus we have to just make sure that youtube manometer is a pressure measuring instrument and how the basic working of the youtube manometer how the basically uh, youtube manometer can measure the pressure difference till this topic or we can say the next gauge that is a maclear gauge the maclear gauge is very much useful gauge for the measurement of the pressure first of all let us understand the basic constructional features of the maclear gauge and then we are going to discuss the basic working of the maclear gauge first of all let us understand the first figure first of all i will define the figures this is first this one will be the second and here this is the third figure because each and every time i will discuss figure by figure in the first figure let us understand the constructional features of the maclear gauge The maclear gauge contains a basic setup of the plunger and cylinders. We have plunger. Below the plunger, the tube or we can say the cylinder has been provided. The cylinder is filled with the fluid having the density rho. Over here we are uh, discussing the fluid as a mercury. We have filled a mercury inside this particular portion. So I can say that the grey color here, the grey color liquid is known as a mercury. above the mercury the reservoir has been placed this particular round section let's say we are no uh, we we know this particular as a the basic nomenclature of this particular round shape is a reservoir above the reservoir here the capillary tube a this particular tube is also known as a capillary tube this i have made as a red color tube this tube is also known as a capillary tube so i can say that this is the capillary tube b for our sake of simplicity i'll provide the nomenclature a and b and this is the capillary tube a this is the main stream pipeline i'll change the color this particular line this particular line is the main stream pipeline 
from which the unknown fluid will be come inside the system having the unknown pressure let's say p1 pressure so this is the basic constructional features of the maclear pressure gauge and how the pressure gauge will be work do you remember the two different points the first point this particular top line this point is known as a reference point remember this point this point is known as a reference point over here this is the reference point in the third figure this is the reference point in the second point bottom side this point is known as a cutoff point the bottom side point is known as a cutoff point the bottom side is known as a cutoff point so we have defined the two points reference point and the cutoff point we have defined the two capillaries capillary a and b then we have the reservoir uh, in which the fluid will be stored and the plunger and the whole cylinder setup is there we know the basic basic uh, fundamental of the mercury uh, we are taking the mercury as a higher denser uh, uh, fluid and the uh, unknown fluid which uh, the unknown fluid contains some unknown pressure the fluid having the density uh, quite lower than the mercury we are uh, intentionally providing uh, the two fluids having the density rho1 and rho2 whereas rho1 is greater than rho2 and rho1 which is the known fluid let's say the gray color fluid this is the rho1 we are making intentionally this uh, kind of the difference for understanding the uh, working of the maclear gauge rho2 which is a light in the color or we can say white in the color having the density quite lower than the first one so this is the maclear pressure gauge now first of all what i am supposed to do i will fill the mercury uh, leave the plunger start filling mercury the mercury will be filled inside the whole system it will be filled it will fill this particular reservoir as well as it will be filled this particular cylinder so what i am supposed to do i will make sure that the mercury will be filled by this particular portion i'll make sure that the mercury will be filled by this particular portion i can say that the capillary tube a plus volume reservoir will be filled by the mercury now once i have designed this particular setup or we can say once i have designed this particular experimental arrangement then i know the volume of the capillary tube a as well as i know the volume of the reservoir so i can say that i know the volume let's say v2 i define the volume as a v2 this is the v2 volume which will be filled by the mercury now what i am supposed to do i will start i will connect the main strip pipeline over here suppose the pipe contains the pressure p1 having some sort of the liquid or having some sort of the gas is directly attached with the main stream pipeline and i will start lifting the plunger upward i will start lifting the plunger in the upward direction once the plunger will be lifted upside the mercury will be coming back to its uh, cylinder and the main stream or we can say the main uh, the main fluid will be getting inserted inside the system the fluid will once the mercury will achieve this particular line cut off line do remember these points once the mercury will achieve the cut off point we are stopping the plunger motion of the plunger and we are making the plunger as a steady condition this is known as the reference line for plunger this is the reference line for the plunger we can say we are holding the plunger over those particular condition the condition at which the mercury or we can say the end of the mercury is at the cut off condition cut off point once the mercury will achieve this particular cut off point i can say that the whole setup or whole system will be filled the whole system this particular system as well as this capillary tube and the main stream pipeline the whole system will be filled by the unknown fluid having the density let's say rho to density and the pressure having the p1 pressure so guys this is the basic idea behind the first figure what the what does the first figure shows the first figure shows that we have the mercury filled inside the system but the level of the mercury is up to the cut off point then above the cut off point the whole system is filled by the unknown fluid let's say having the density rho2 and the pressure p1 then i will start moving down the plunger 
I will start forcing the plunger in the downward direction. Once the plunger will start moving down, we can say that the mercury will start rising in the upward direction. The mercury will make a back pressure in the mainstream pipeline and the mercury will also make a back pressure inside the water uh, sorry inside the volume reservoir i will still continue to apply the force on the plunger till till the mercury inside the mainstream pipeline the mercury inside the mainstream pipeline or we can say the cutoff uh, sorry till the mercury inside the mainstream pipeline as well as the capillary tube b reach to its reference point till the mercury reach the reference point i will apply the pressure once it will achieve the reference point i will hold the plunger over here this is the position number two or this is the reference line of the plunger for the position number two once i have achieved this particular condition what i am supposed to do i will simply measure the linear dimensions linear height in the capillary tube a do remember we are measuring inside the capillary tube a because i know that i have filled the mercury till here and i will start rising the mercury so whatever the fluid is available whatever the fluid is available inside this particular tank have no choice it has only single choice it will move or we can say it will rise on inside the capillary tube a it has no choice to flow out so whatever the liquid available or we can say whatever the volume is available the total volume will be consumed the total volume will be conserved inside this particular setup if i will change the color then i can say that whatever the volume is there the total volume will be covered by this particular portion only so as the volume will decrease as the volume will decreases it will directly rise in the pressure it will directly affect the value of the pressure then what i am supposed to do i will simply draw a reference line or we can say a datum line and we know that uh, as per the datum line concept whatever the pressure is above the datum line the pressure is same whatever the pressure is below the datum line the pressure is same so what we have done we have done the total volume which is available inside the system in the initial case i have make sure that the total volume will be conserved within some sort of the height portion other than that the whole mercury will fill the system do remember two things we have to make sure that we have to uh, we have to make sure that we have to provide a proper two positions of the mercury the first condition the mercury hold the cut off point the mercury hold the cut off point in the second condition the mercury hold the reference point if mercury hold these two points properly we have to hold the plunger and once the plunger will be holded we can measure the pressures now what is happening we know that the basic concept of the pressure volume that p1 v1 is equal to p2 v2 if i have to find the pressure p1 the unknown pressure p1 then it is equal to p2 v2 upon v1 v2 that is the initial pressure available as we have told you that a p2 uh, the pressure at the end of the system and the volume of the initial uh, sorry initial volume of the given system so the initial and final volume uh, this is the initial volume uh, from the figure number 1 from the figure number 1 you can check this going to be the initial volume this is the initial volume and this going to be the final volume so from the initial volume and final volume we can find the value of the volume and to measure the pressure what we are supposed to do we are simply making a datum line and from the datum line we can measure the pressure that the pressure is equal to rho g h so by using this particular concept you can measure the pressure unknown pressure p1 which is available in the mainstream pipeline so guys this is the maclear pressure gauge here we are winding our lecture what we have discussed today we have discussed the two different pressure gauge the first one that is a pirani gauge and the second one that is the maclear pressure gauge these two gauge are widely useful in the mechanical industries as well as in the food processing industries chemical industries refineries oil refineries uh, where the flow of the liquid where the flow of the fluid is uh, drastic uh, where the flow of the fluid 
or we can say where the motion of the fluid with the all the walls and all the vertices is directly affect the uh, strength or it will directly affect the uh, design parameter of the pipe then we are using such kind of the pressure gauge for mending the uh, for maintaining the flow of the uh, fluid inside the uh, pipe design or we can say from ment for maintaining the proper pressure inside the pipe we are supposed to use such short of the pressure gauges the first one that is a pirani and the second one that is a maclewood pressure gauge in this particular topic we have to four different pressure gauge the first one that is a piezometer then youtube manometer then uh, we have discussed the pirani and the maclewood pressure gauge over here the topic pressure measurement is over from the next lecture we are going to discuss the temperature measurement till then thank you